A pleasant greetings to all. In this video, I am going to explain how to find the perunit impedance and how to draw the perunit impedance diagram for the power system network given. The online diagram of an unloaded power system is shown in figure. Reactances of the two sections of the transmission line are shown in the diagram. The generator and transformer are heated as follows. Draw the impedance diagram with all the reactances marked in per unit. Choose the base of 50 MVA, 13.8 kV in the circuit of generator. See, this is the power system network given. And what is the base MVA given? Base MVA is 50 MVA. Base MVA equal to 50 MVA. Here, base MVA is common for all the components connected in the power system. Then draw the sections. Why we draw the section? In order to find out the base KV in each section. So see, the section number 1. This is the section number 2. Here, section number 3, section number 4, section 5, section 6. So, total sections are, total sections equal to 6. Next, I am going to find out base KV for E section. First of all, I am going to consider section number 1. In the section number 1, I have to mark the values for generator 20 MVA, 13.8 KV and X double dash equal to 0 0.2 per unit. And next, for a transformer 1, 25 MVA, 13.8 by 220 KV, X double dash equal to 0 0.2 per unit. In the section number 1, base MVA equal to 50 MVA, and what is the base KV? Base KV also given for the generator that is 13.8 KV. These are the new base for generator as well as low voltage side of the transformer. Now I am going to find out ZPU new for generator and transformer 1. The formula is ZPU old into MVA new divided by MVA old into KV old divided by KV new the whole square. First I am going to find out ZPU new for generator 1. What is ZPU old? That is 0 0.2 per unit. No need to write. Into what is MVA new? That is 50 MVA. What is MVA old? 20. What is base KV? Old is 13.8. New also 13.8. 13.8 divided by 13.8 the whole square. Here 2.5. So the answer is J. J 0 0.5 per unit. Next for transformer 1. ZPU new. 
equal to what is the user p volt for the transformer 1 0 0.2 into what is new base MBA 50 old base is 25 MBA into what is the old KV 13.8 what is the new KV 13.8 the whole square that is equal to 2 G 0 0.4 per unit. Next consider the section 2. Section 2 is the transmission line 1. Here I am going to find out what is the KV base. Base KV is equal to base KV in the low voltage side into high voltage rating divided by low voltage rating. What is the base KV in the low voltage side? 13.8 already we know. 13.8 high voltage rating that is for the transformer 220 kV divided by 13.8 so the answer is 220 kV so for a section 2 section 3 and section 4, 3 having the base voltage as 220 kV. This is the base voltage. And base MVA is 50 MVA. Next, I am going to find out Z PU for the transmission line 1. So, Z PU is Z actual divided by Z base. What is Z actual? J 80 ohm. Z actual. Z base is MVA that is KV square divided by MVA. So inverted this MVA divided by KV square. J 80. MVA is 50. KV is 220 square. The answer is J 0 0.0826 per unit. Then is this is for transmission line 1. Next transmission line 2. Is it PU equal to? Is it actual is J 100 into MBA is 50. KV is same KV. 220 square that is equal to J0.1033 per unit. Next consider the section 5. In the section 5. Next consider the section 5. In the section 5, find out the base KV. Here, the low voltage side of the transformer 2 is connected to the generator 2. Here I have to put the values for the transformer 2. 3 single phase unit rated 10 MVA. So 3 into 10 that is 30 MVA. And 128 bar 18 star delta. Star means 128 into root 3 by 18. So that is 220 divided by 18 kV. That is 10 percent 0 points. Sorry, 0 0.1. And next for a generator 2, 30 MBA, 18 kV, x double dot equal to 0 0.2 per unit. 
base k b equal to base k b on high voltage side into L B rating divided by H V rating of the transformer. Base K V on the high voltage side with the transmission line side 220. And here what is low voltage side that is 18 by 220. Answer is 18 K V. So this 18 K V is the base K V for the Generator 2 and the transformer 2. Now I am going to find out for a generator 2 is that PU new. So for a generator 2 is that PU old is 0 0.2 into what is MVA? MVA new is 50. MVA old is 30. 50 by 30 into 18 by 18 the whole square that is equal to j 0 j 0 0.33 per unit next find out is that p u new for the transformer 2 that is equal to 0 0.1 into new mva is 50 and old mva is Old MBA is 30 into KV old is 18, KV new also 18 square. So the answer is G 0 0.1667 per unit. Next I am going to explain the section 6. So this is the section 6. In the section number 6, Transformer T3 is connected to the generator G3. Generator G3 is connected to the low voltage side of the transformer. So what is the base MBA? 50 MBA. And now I am going to find out the base KB. How to find out the base KB? Base KB equal to base KB in the high voltage side. So base KB in the high voltage side, that is the transmission side that is 220 in the Low voltage rating divided by high voltage rating. That is equal to 220 in the 22 divided by 220 because in this transformer T3, low voltage is 22 and high voltage is 220. So what is the voltage base KV is 22 volt KV. Next I am going to find out G3 is at P unit. Next I am going to find out is a PU new for the generator G3. So what is the value? Old is a PU 0.2 into new MBA 50. What is the old MBA for the generator? That is 30 into what is the old value generator? That is 20. Here new KV is 22. The whole square equal to G0.2754 PU. In the similar manner, I am going to find out for the transformer. So transformer T3 is at PU new is equal to 0 0.1. 10 percentage is 0 0.1 into 50 divided by 50 is the new MPA. Then divided by the old MPA for the transformer is 35. 50 by 35 into old KV is 22 KV and new KV also 22 the whole square. So what is the answer? J 1 0 0.1 14 0.1429 per unit. Next, I am going to draw the per unit impedance diagram. To draw the per unit impedance diagram, what I have to do? First of all, I have to mark the ZPU new for all the components in the power system. G1 already we got. We got J0.5 per unit and here transformer 1 J0.2 and for this transformer J0.1429 and here this is J0.2755 
and this transmission line J0.820826 and this is this transmission line J0.1033 transformer J0.1667 generator J0.33 that's all so all the values I have entered. After finishing this, I am going to draw the per unit impedance diagram. So how to draw the per unit impedance diagram? First of all, I have to use the symbol for generator, transformer and transmission line. For a generator, how to use the symbol? E.g. that is in connected in series with the inductive coil. And then how to represent the transformer? This is the representation of transformer. How to represent the transmission line? This is the representation of transmission line. So first of all, for a generator 1, I have to draw this. Here E.g. 1 that is connected one impedance you have to put the value j0.5 then it is connected to the transformer so transformer equal to j0.2 that is the impedance value and then it is connected to the transmission line j0.0826 afterwards it is connected to another transmission line J0.1033. This is transmission line 2. TL2. Here this is TL1. TL1. This is the transformer 1. Next it is connected to the next transformer, transformer 2. And again connected to the generator G2. So put EG2 here. Generator G. 0 0.33 and the center position the transformer is connected T3 and what is the value J0.1429 and another one generator is connected EG3 so before that I have to draw the inductive coil so once again I am going to draw this is for T3, then for the generator EG3. Here put the value, the value is J0.2755. Afterwards, you have to connect all these. Okay, this is the impedance diagram. Thank you. Have a nice day.